yesterday, Lewis Riddick sent a very interesting tweet uh, about um, Justin Fields and how he has been performing in Chicago. And he said, I'm not going to say how crazy good some of the things I have been told about Justin Fields, the professional, have been thus far. I don't want to hear the it's only training camp brigade puff up their chest and scream at the top of their lungs. But it has been that good, all caps, just saying. Now, I do know that Lewis Riddick has a relationship with Matt Nagy. I'm also going to throw that out there. Mm -hmm. Um, But nonetheless, all good things coming out of Chicago about their rookie quarterback, Justin Fields. Haven't heard much about Andy Dalton, who we all, including myself, has slated as the week one starter. What do you think, Bart Scott? I mean, I think at some point, and we don't know if it's going to be in training camp, week one, week two, week three, week five, I don't know. At some point, you know, you think about Justin Fields, he's going to walk up to Andy Dalton. He's going to do his best Captain Phillips movie, and he's going to say, look at me, Andy. (laughs) I'm the captain now. I'm the captain now. (laughs) And That's the first one I've gotten in like <laughs> two weeks. <laughs> and listen, at some point, you know, listen, it's, it's, it's one of those things, right? We all know when it's coming. We all know it's coming. And, and he knows that he's the future. And Andy Dalton knows that he's the future. It's up to Andy Dalton to hold him off for as long as he can, right? It's almost like when we knew that Fitz, Fitz Magic was down there and we knew Tool was coming and his time was coming. And you, some people say, well, if you're winning, why would you want to do it, right? Because you're trying to go from good to great. Because, you know, at some point, Andy Dalton can only take this offense and this team so far. You need, the, you need the intangibles that a guy like Fields brings to the team and to the offense to be able to grow it, right? He's supposed to be like the, almost like the mixture between Mitch Trubisky and, and Andy Dalton, a guy that can kill you from the pocket, but a guy that adds that ed- added dimension that makes a defense have to play 11 on 11. That's why they were probably so excited to get him because out of all the quarterbacks that were available, he's the one that can do both you know, at a high level, you know, so like you think about what he's capable of doing in the big games that he's been in, you know that he's going to have natural swagger, natural confidence, and we know that he's a leader you know, with his fight with the Who big Who should 10. the Bears start week one? I'm going to Andy Dalton, right, because listen, you know, you can have a false sense of confidence, and I want this kid to kind of settle in and kind of feel the speed of the game because he doesn't understand. OTAs, one speed, right? right. Training camp, another speed. Preseason, another speed. You're going to see something you ain't seen before that week one as far as game preparation, well, attention and it's the to detail. Rams. Right, it's attention to detail. And it's like, you know, man, dude, I don't want my young, my young rookie having to deal with Aaron Donald his first, his first game. I don't want him to have to deal with the savvy, savviness of a guy like Jalen Ramsey who can bait him into some bad picks. I want him to see the speed of the game. And if Andy Dalton struggles, yeah, sure, we're going to have confidence. We're going to have a tight package for you. It's going to start with something like that. You know, hopefully the Bears can get into some some blowouts where they can kind of let him get some garbage time, or they may have a, a like an added package for him in the short yardage goal line. You know, to come down and kind of take advantage of his ability to kind of be the eleven on eleven guy, and then eventually he's just going to take over. And there's nothing Andy Dalton can do about it but support the young kid and teach him how to be a pro. So. Sean McVay, it's interesting the Bears have the Rams week one because I'm going to compare Matt Nagy and Sean McVay here. These are two quarterback or two coaches, rather, that have, you know, forward thinking when it has come to the preseason. I know a lot of coaches across the National Football League sit their starters, but these were two of the first coaches to come out and say, no, we ain't playing any of our starters in the preseason because we're going to rest them for mm-hmm. week one. Um, and so with that being said, uh, again, week one is Rams and Bears. No doubt they want to leave an element of surprise. But yeah. if you're the Chicago Bears, who are you playing in the preseason as a quarterback? you got Nick Foles, who's your third stringer, who I would assume you would play in the preseason. But they are obviously looking for him to be trade bait, I would assume, especially with the right. news out of Indianapolis right. and perhaps with the Colts. Yeah, I'm putting Andy him in Dalton, bubble wrap. Right. Andy Dalton, you were going to have be your week one starter, but he hasn't taken any snaps in a game as a Chicago Bear. Yeah. And then you have Justin Fields, your rookie, who you want to protect and you moved up to get. So who are you going to play? Well, you're not trying to protect Fields. You're trying to get him as much game time experience you want to see how the young man performs with the lights on right you, you, what you do is you give him a very basic package and see you want him to play fast right you want him to step back know where to go with his with, with his passes and he's going to see very vanilla defenses early in the preseason and you're going to script certain things and you want him to try and grow because what happens is if the worst case scenario if you lose Nick Foles and Andy Dalton gets hurt or struggles early on he's going to have to play you want to have a package for him and his unique skill set. You also want the, the starters. You know, it's one of those things, right, where usually, like, the, the starting def- the starting offense, starting defense, 
usually only plays one series, especially the right. first series. Right. But for him, you leave him out there for Andy Dalton, but you also leave the ones out there to maybe play and extend him a little bit to protect the young quarterback as well before you transition to your backups. So you want to get him some time with the starters too because it's important for him to learn how to play the speed and understand where the starters will be in case he's forced into action early. You want him to have some chemistry. You want to have him, you know, because for the most part in camp, if he's, you know, taking the two to the two reps, he's going with the two skill position players. So he'll have chemistry naturally with the backup. So the third receiver, you want him to be able to have chemistry in that nonverbal communication with guys like Allen Robinson. So you can know, you know, if he gets in the game, how he needs to proceed. I, there is not a scenario where I could see Allen Robinson playing in the preseason for me, for me. Well, you, 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 you listen, you have to kind of play him because you don't have the four weeks that you normally have to kind of get your guys ready because only three preseason games. Usually you go like starters go like one series, then they go like to a half and then you want them to learn how to come out of the half with adjustments. So you play them into the first half and then you go out and then a week game four, you don't play anything. I well, get, you don't have that I fourth one. So you can't ramp them up. I get it. I mean, I understand. I just It's always that risk that somebody's going to get that's hurt. What I'm Somebody saying, loses like, a starter every every, every preseason. preseason. But so that's why I know Nagy has taken like a very conservative approach to this. And that's why I just I can't see a scenario where he is toting out especially his number 1 receiver who does everything for well, that offense. Well, you you have to. You can't protect everybody. The roster isn't that big. It isn't college. So, yeah, yeah I know you're you're thinking with your Chicago Bears heart, right? And you don't <laughs> want to see the season tank before you get there. You already had to deal right. with A. A. Ron saying he's 100% all right, in. Don't, don't do, do all that. You're doing too much now. See? Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN Plus right now.